finding a color that's integrating this now, and I'm trying to figure out how to let veils of what's there show through. Uh, you know, there's a lot of really happy happenings with the watercolor that are sweet, and I just have to decide to consciously keep them. I'm really having fun ignoring these um, carpenter bees. Uh, they, they are quite entertaining. So I just introduced a new color that I'm going to try to integrate. And I might have gone in the wrong direction, but let's see. When I look down into the box, I see my colors but I don't really know what they're going to look like until I actually get them up here. Okay, so I, I really am in love with what's going on up there, but it doesn't seem to be integrating. Um, and that's watercolor. So how do I get that to relate? I'm gonna float pastel over it. And every time I make a couple marks, I'm gonna pull back. try to make some definite shapes and silhouettes of things. Okay. So this is a very delicate touch. I'm just kind of floating a color over it very gently and trying to make it look more cloudish. <laughs> and I want to have some lost and found edges. So this is really white along there, but I'm going to take this blue and it'll still be a broken edge, but I'm going to make it be is blue instead of that white. Okay, I'm going to pull back and look at this again, make some decisions. Now I haven't touched the field. The sky's starting to get interesting. Um, dodging bees is really fun uh, when you're a plumber painting. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm letting the painting talk to me. I'm using tidbits of the sky that have nothing to do with today. That sky was created on another day. Um, I think I, I want to make this dark up there. So now I'm going to start getting aggressive with it.